brink of war, North Korea came close to sparking a nuclear war after capturing U.S. spy ship. While the captured crew of the vessel endured horrific treatment military leaders in the U.S. were drawing up plans for a nuclear war on the Korean peninsula. Radio operator Don Bailey sent a frantic message to the Japanese port of Kamizia as the North Korea ships rounded on the Pueblo. He said, we need help. We are holding emergency destruction. Soz. The USS Pueblo, an American spy ship, was captured by North Korea while in international waters near its coast setting in motion a series of events that nearly sparked nuclear war. US forces warned their allies in Seoul not to escalate the situation and endanger ship's crew as Washington was secretly preparing for military action, historical accounts reveal. A collection of 12 military response were created by the U.S. Army in the event a peaceful solution could not be found. The crew of the ship were subjected to torture, kept in squalid conditions and forced to sign a series of confessions, each of which became more ridiculous, the survivors reported. There were preparations made for a nuclear retaliation in the event that the escalation led to an invasion of South Korea. One of the terrifying outcomes which was narrowly avoided named Freedom Drop has since been made public. The plan would have seen the advancing North Korea army annihilated with nuclear weapons launched from planes and nuclear missiles striking key targets in the country. It has been revealed. The US president at the time, Lyndon Johnson rejected calls for an attack and instead opted for an imposing show of military might. He ordered hundreds of warplanes and ships, including three aircraft carriers to South Korea. As a top-secret memo since released said, once the US took retaliatory actions involving the use of military force against North Korea. The chances of obtaining early release of the crew and ship would be virtually eliminated. Moreover, Retaliation would probably bring the Chinese and Soviets more directly into the situation the risks of an enlargement of the crisis and actual hostilities would be increased. After enduring terrible treatment including mock executions and routine beatings many of the sailors expected to die in North Korea. Talks took place in the heavily fortified demilitarized zone, DMZ, located on the border of North Korea with the US determined to win the release of its servicemen. The talks took months during which the torture continued and element in Washington continued to pressure for a military strike, a count reveal. A White House memo shows that around nine months after the spy ship was captured the long talks had reached an impasse with the US reluctant to lose face and sign an apology. North Korea forced the crew to take part in a press conference during which Commander Lloyd Bucker called on the US to do something to save the lives of these young men. Washington relent and sign the apology on the condition that they be allowed to issue a statement beforehand and the win were freed and full-scale war was averted. A day before the Pueblo was captured on January 22, 1968, the ship had its first encounter with North Koreans as two fishing boats packed with locals came to have a look at the U.S. ship.
However, on January 23 a more worry group of ships from the mainland intercepted the USS Pueblo. It was met by a heavily armed sub-chaser and four torpedo ships and ordered to stop or face the North Korea firepower. The sailors signaled back that they were in international waters while sending a desperate plea for help to the naval command in Japan. When the North Koreans attempted to board the Pueblo fled the scene at full speed. The outgunned US ship was fired upon with machine guns and 57mm shells as it attempted to find safety by heading deeper into international waters while its crew burned top secret documents. After taking heavy amounts of fire Commander Bucker ordered Bailey to send a message to the Koreans. He said, have been requested to follow into Wonsan, have three wounded and one man with leg blown off, have not used any weapons. How about some help, these guys mean business. Do not intend to offer any resistance. The captured ship is now a tourist attraction in Pyongyang where it is used to install propaganda.